Well, we have a whole new set of reports that Ryan Gosling is set to join the MCU, but where are these reports coming from and how true are they? Let's break down the possibilities of the megastar joining the Marvel Universe, what characters he could be playing, and most importantly, is there any validity to any of these reports? Now before we do that though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos and we want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we're going to bring it to you truthfully and transparently so you are in the know. Well, as a general rule when casting rumors come up for the Marvel Studios these days, at least from scoopers, well, we have found more often than not, they're simply not true. Earlier today, we got a new report via Daniel Rickman, and he is suggesting that Ryan Gosling is once again in talks with Marvel Studios. Now, these cyber reports, for me at least, have to be taken with more than a grain of salt, because he is a name that consistently pops up when we're talking about Marvel. And quite honestly, I actually think this is a report of opportunity. Recent Academy Award nominations gave him a Best Supporting Actor nod, and I really do think quite often these scoops are based on SEO data and what's getting searched, and this is more often than not sort of a call for attention. Now, if the actor does join the MCU, and that is a big if, well, it would be a big score for Marvel Studios. But the big question becomes, if he joined the MCU, what character would he pick up? And honestly, giving upcoming projects, well, that's where it gets a bit interesting, and for me, it comes down to two main characters. One a hero, and one, not a villain, the villain. So, let's start off with the good guy. We know that Marvel is putting together pieces for Midnight Suns, and you can't have a team up of superhero, supernatural characters without Ghost Rider. Now, it's been long speculated if he did join the MCU, Johnny Blaze is at the top of the list of characters Gosling could play. And I do think Marvel wants to give his level of star power, well, a big character. And bringing him on as Ghost Rider, with Ghost Rider at the center of that Midnight Suns team, that could be pretty big. That team has potential to be massive, and we already have a couple of members of the team at Marvel Studios, including Moon Knight, Jack Russell's Werewolf, and of course, Man-Thing. I think he would make an okay Johnny Blaze, although he doesn't have the roughness I think a Johnny Blaze kind of needs. I wouldn't be not excited for him in the role, but it's not something that really gets me going. But the villain possibilities do. Now, the other possibility of him being a character in the MCU seems to lead us straight to Latveria and Doctor Doom. Quite honestly, if he is in talks with Marvel Studios, I think this is the kind of role he would probably want. He has shown a little bit of, well, lack of excitement for superhero roles in the past, and I would have to think to get Gosling on board, especially in the wake of some big success with his Oscar nod and the success of Barbie, well, they're going to have to offer him a really, really big role. Now, as for him playing Doom, quite honestly, I think he would be near perfect for the character. He has the smile, he's charming, but as we saw in Barbie, how he can turn on a dime and be a bit sinister. Whoever takes up the role of Doctor Doom has got to be able to hit all these beats. Doom is not your typical villain, and actually believes in his cause, and Gosling might actually be able to nail that aspect of the character, all while having the rather over-the-top kind of good looks that Doom often is portrayed with. You know, one big aspect of Doom is why he wears the mask, and, and in case you didn't know, he had a scar on his face. Now, Doom saw the scar as a much bigger thing because it broke perfection. So whatever actor picks up the role needs to be pretty good looking by all beauty standards, and Gosling really honestly doesn't have a problem filling that void. Now, we're going to watch this one pretty closely. We know right now it seems like a rehashed and recycled rumor that's been going on for about a year, but often where there's smoke, there's fire, so we want to keep an eye on it. Hopefully, we get something official from Marvel Studios' Kevin Feige or even Gosling himself sometime soon. I'm not anticipating any of that until early next year, but if he is Doctor Doom, we'll probably know pretty soon because the Fantastic Four is queued up for production in the first quarter of 2024, so if they're casting him, they better nail it down soon.